Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a retro unboxing. This five pack is from 2002, so it's 22 years old. And despite being 22 years old, it's actually in really, really good shape. Now, I like the design of these old boxes. Uh, I think the like I like the graphics on the uh, modern boxes better uh, than the old boxes. But I like this part a lot better. I like being able to see through and see both sides of the car. Now, I realize why they probably stopped doing it this way. I mean, it would cost more money for them to do the plastic all the way through versus just the cardboard. But I definitely like it. So let's go ahead and get started and open this thing up. Now, first up, we have Police Car, and it, that's its name. It's just simply called Police Car. This is a Matchbox original. This is not a licensed replica of any car. It's a pretty nice looking casting, honestly. I mean, for it not to be uh, really a replica of anything, it re looks really good. Uh, Matchbox produced this from 2002 all the way up into 2000, uh, 2012. Now, there were a variation of this car that was produced back in 2005 that didn't contain an interior. Of course, this one has an interior. You can see over in the passenger seat uh, is the police clipboard. And that may be some type of restraints in the back seat. Now that 2005 variation that didn't have the interior, that was actually a Burger King exclusive and it was available in four different colors. This version is done up in blue and the tampos on the side say police chief. Next up is a Volkswagen Beetle 4x4. This was produced from 2001 until 2007 and it came in a couple different variations. One with an opening hood that was produced from 2001 until 2012, and the other without an opening hood that was produced from 2003 until 2007. Now this car is the variation uh, that has the opening hood. And although the hood doesn't really open all that far, it still does have the opening hood, which is pretty cool. And you can see a tire inside, a spare tire, although it's significantly smaller than the tires that's on this thing. The color is yellow and it has a blue plastic base. The tampos on the side say Chief HQ. This casting was uh, replaced in 2007 by a very similar looking casting called Volkswagen Beetle 4x4 that's still actually in production today. Our third car is a Jeep Cherokee. Now this is in 158th scale and it's in white with a red base. Its tampos on the side say Chief, and it's got the little flames coming up from the red bottom. This casting come in a couple different variations also. The first variation was produced from 1986 all the way through not, uh, 2014. The second variation has been in production since 1996 and is still in production. The only difference between the two variations is the roof lights. The version without the lights has not been in production since 2014. This version with the lights is still in production today. Our fourth car is a 4x4 Chevy Blazer. This casting is in 156th scale. And it was originally produced from 1984 all the way up until 2012 when it was discontinued. However, Matchbox brought it back retooled in 2017 and it's still in production. The retooled version has a bit greater detail than this older version, but the retooled version does not have this whip antenna on the back of it. Now the reason that they removed the whip antenna was it was deemed to be a choking hazard for kids. 
Now as a collector, I'm really happy to get this version with the antenna. The color on this is olive green with yellow tempos that say Chief 7. And our last car is a 1999 Chevy Silverado. And this white Silverado is in 176th scale. And the tempos on it say uh, HQ and Chief. It's based on the first generation Chevy Silverado that was produced from 1998 through 2007. However, the Matchbox version was produced from 1999 until 2013. I think my favorite out of this pack is the Chevy Blazer. And again, I'm really happy to get the version that has the whip antenna on the back. Which one of these is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this retro unboxing and would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Maybe we can start doing these on Thursday and it be a throwback Thursday. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.